Hi everybody! So today is December 16, 2013. It's really cold here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Lots of snow, lots of ice, negative temperatures. Oh my god. Right. But it's not what I want to talk about you today. So, Christmas is coming. Another Christmas that I'm not going to be able to spend with my family in Portugal. Um, last year, uh, I spent Christmas at my parents-in-law house with uh, my wife, their, uh, their, her parents, her brothers. And uh, this year, they decided to do something different. They wanted to go to a restaurant instead of doing their dinner there. It's fine by me. So uh, the problem was was with the choice of of uh, of that restaurant. Uh, since I cannot go to Portugal because uh, since she's been in Canada, does not advise me to leave the country until the end of my current residence application uh, because I might not be able to re-enter Canada. Uh, and I don't want to take that risk, so, uh, and I can stay here legally, um, in Canada, uh, since my permit ends in 2015, so, uh, yeah, all these are a little bit hard, so, uh, I miss Portugal, I miss my family, uh, yeah, so, since I cannot go to Portugal and I have to spend another Christmas here in Canada, I uh, suggested to uh, my parents as well. In fact, my wife suggested to her, you know, text conversation between them. Uh, I suggested that this year we could go to a Portuguese restaurant uh, here in Edmonton that has Portuguese food. Uh, the food is made by Portuguese immigrants. It's authentic Portuguese food. Uh, I know I went there, <laughs> and um, they said no. Yeah, uh, they said, "Oh, be happy to be happier to go with men that already know so they suggested things like Boston pizza uh, we don't have Boston pizza in Portugal so everyone that's uh, seeing this in is from Portugal I was gonna say Boston pizza what is, uh, what is that well uh, Boston pizza is a place that sells pizzas um, and lasagnas and that kind of food so basically they prefer to have that kind of food pizzas, lasagnas, then uh, a Portuguese traditional food, traditional food uh, and a Christmas dinner from Portugal. Yeah. Of course, I object the idea of eating pizza for Christmas. I'm sorry, but <laughs> Boston pizza is there all the time, right? So I can go there Anytime, you know, I can eat pizza and lasagna and stuff like that, and pastas and stuff like that, any time of the year, but not on Christmas, please. Okay, <laughs> Christmas is supposed to be special, and uh, that'd be really, really special if you eat pizza for Christmas. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and I was a little. I'm not going to say it. Offended. Hurt. That they said no to Portuguese traditional food for Christmas. They said no right off the bat. Especially because uh, my wife told me that a couple of years ago they were invited to a traditional Polish dinner. They have neighbors the, who are Polish immigrants and they invite them for a traditional Polish uh, dinner and uh, my parents all went and they ate their food. Uh, a traditional Polish dinner, for those who don't know, has a lot of fish. A lot, a lot of fish. And uh, my 
a parent, my um, uh, father-in-law, uh, then like fish. But guess what? He went there and he ate that fish. He polite. So, uh, makes me, I don't say mad, but a little hurt uh, when I saw them say no to Portuguese food for Christmas. It was right off the bat. Um, because then I think they said no to Portuguese food. But they say yeah to Polish food, and that includes food that they don't like, which is you know, fish. Uh, but they they went and they ate. So my question is, are they do they have more respect for their Polish neighbors uh, and to respect their food and eat their food, even though they didn't like the the, the fish and that kind of part. Uh, then they have more respect for them than for me. I'm Portuguese and I'm proud of that. Uh, I'm only doing this video uh, in English so that everyone can understand it because uh, there's uh, not only people from Portugal reading my blog but also uh, people from uh, other kind of including Canada or other countries so to be more universal uh, I could do this video in Portuguese, but it, to be more universal, I am doing this in English so everyone can understand it. And um, so my question is, what should I do, right? Should I stand by my traditions and my, cu my culture uh, and say, no, this year I'm going to have a Portuguese traditional Christmas dinner since last year I eat Canadian food? On Christmas, um, or should I submit myself and uh, go to the restaurant they want and, and eat lasagna pizzas and stuff like that? I made my decision, <laughs> and um, their dinner is gonna be uh, on the 19th, gonna be an early Christmas dinner. And uh, at the same day, on the same, on the same day, at the same time, uh, while they're going to be at that restaurant, that, the restaurant of choice, I'm going to be uh, on the Portuguese restaurant, and eating bacalhau. Yeah, alone. Uh, yeah, because I, I miss bacalhau for Christmas. I come from uh, northern Portugal, and uh, in a region that uh, has bacalhau uh, on Christmas, and uh, last year I ate meat, and last year I ate Canadian food, so this year I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a salvage no bacalhau. Even if I have to eat alone, be sad, but I will not, and I cannot deny who I am. Um, my culture as Portuguese is part of me. Uh, it's part of who I am. So, guess what? If you don't like Portuguese food, if you're afraid of trying Portuguese food, uh, it's your loss. I hope that next year you'll lose that fear of Portuguese food and you'll see that Portuguese food is really really good uh, just give it a try okay uh, in the meantime I'll stand by my traditions my food my culture because that's why I'm since I cannot go uh, in person to Portugal to to eat a traditional Portuguese Christmas dinner there uh, with my family, uh, I'm gonna eat it here. Even if I have to eat alone, because apparently my Canadian family uh, does not accept Canadian and does not accept Portuguese food. Which makes me think that they don't accept me as Portuguese. In the family, which is, hmm. Makes you think, huh? Anyway, uh, feel free 
to uh, to post your comments uh, with your opinions about this. And uh, see you next time.